Hey YouTube, it's POD7. We're gonna be playing some cruising velocity today on uh, Hunt for Gems. I'm going to uh, get my controller right first, and uh, oh, there's no volume control. Well, okay, music sounds pretty cool. Um. Let's turn the volume up back a little bit. But we'll. Oop. Hmm. Let's go music off for one race and then I'll turn it on for another. And we'll see how that goes. So. Uh, Cruisin' is a racing series that started with Cruisin' USA on Nintendo 64. And it was the game that got me into racing games pretty much. Uh, definitely an arcade racer. Uh, I've never really been a big fan of simulation racers. Uh, because if I wanted to do that, I could just go out and drive. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, stuff like the Cruisin' Series and Beetle Adventure Racing was another popular choice. Of course, Mario Kart, uh, Burnout, and... Other kinds of stuff. So let's see if Cruisin' Velocity has anything to offer us here on the Game Boy Advance. Ooh, there's a locked option. I bet you have to go all the way through cup mode. But we're just going to try it out here. <laughs> we got basically a mini, looks like. A cop car is always a decent choice. Jet car. <laughs> the Hunter looks is just a Chrysler uh, Prowler. Uh, but it looks like it's got pretty good, uh, stats. Let's look through the rest of this, though. <laughs> Surfing van. Woody, that's funny. So there's a pretty decent, uh, variety of stuff here, including some secrets. I'm guessing that's probably, like, a Lamborghini or something. A Ferrari. So we'll go with this, uh, Prowler with the, uh, average stats. Yeah, we definitely want automatic. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we got Vegas, Mars, and, oh, Ireland, okay, oh, and then, that, that second Vegas is probably, um, uh, either the second course in the cup, or it's just a, fl like, a mirrored, uh, version of the regular course. Uh, let's just do Vegas to start with. Number of laps. I agree. Okay, so we're in Vegas. Okay. Uh, frame rate looks pretty terrible. Um. I mean, it's the Game Boy Advance is like a little bit better than a Super Nintendo most of the time when it comes to graphics. But, uh, this is pretty bad. <laughs> Checkpoint. Alright. Oh, I spun out. And that was me just trying to turn left. Okay. Definitely in last place. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't turn for crap. I guess I'll have to pick a car with a better handling next time. Oh goodness. Okay, so, so far... <laughs> nothing to write home about. Particularly. And I just got lapped. By the guy in first. Uh, the taxis in Vegas are probably just as crazy as any other taxi I've, service I've ever seen. And I've been to London and New York, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, they are ruthless <laughs> on the road. Man, these controls are just the worst. It said there were turbos, but 
I can't even notice if I'm even using them. I'm pressing every button on my controller right now. Wow, that was awful. Ugh. Okay, well, let's uh, back out of that. Let's turn the music on for a minute. See how that... Because if, if that slows down, then it means the game is lagging. Um, wow. Let's go with the taxi, since he won the last race. Uh, we'll stay on automatic, just because I suck at driving manual, especially in racing games. Let's try Ireland. <laughs> Okay, never been to Ireland, unfortunately. But it always looks like there's a lot of fun to be had. <laughs> Anytime you see Ireland on TV in America, anyway. Except for incidents involving the IRA. <laughs> Stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, whether it's just hanging out with the cool people or driving along in the countryside... Seems like a really cool place to go. Oh my goodness. And I'm getting no music. So there's no music on the tracks. Oh my gosh. It feels like it's a little bit better to control in this car, but... I don't know. I think it just because it had better grip more than anything. Oh my gosh. And now the cars I was next to are now just a distant memory. <laughs> I think it's because the cars are... The way you turn is in one of three angles that you can turn in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like seriously. I barely even tap the, the left directional pad button there and I was spinning out so unless I'm supposed to be tapping the directions which is actually now working out much better for me that's terrible <laughs> just on controls alone I'm not gonna say this game is a gem <laughs> So this is going to be a pretty short episode, I think. Uh, we might do one just for fun with the uh, on Mars, but... Man, I don't know. This is pretty dang bad. Or maybe I'm just disappointed more <laughs> because I really wanted this to be fun. Like the old cruising games. There was... Let's see. Off the top of my head, I can remember... Uh, Cruisin' USA, and then Cruisin' World, and then I think there was one that was in the arcades, I don't remember if it ever came out for consoles, called Cruisin' Exotica. That was pretty fun too, but maybe that could have just been because it was in the arcade, I don't know. Um, and there, I think there was one that just came out as a, like an arcade title for Xbox, just called Cruisin'. I don't remember though. And I never played it, so. <laughs> oh, oh, we're, we're catching up. We're in fifth. Oh my gosh, we actually did better that time. Oh, and I didn't even use any of my turbos, as far as I know. Okay. I don't know why there was an option to have music on or off. <laughs> okay. So we'll do a goofy... We'll do a... Oh my gosh. Turbos to the max, but... Look at the rest of it. What was the best car? Let's try this Woody. And we'll go on Mars. Mars. 
Well, uh, <laughs> I guess my B button is mapped to something else. That's good to know. Because I just tried to back out there, and I... What happened there? And, uh, it didn't let me back out. <laughs> so, in between episodes here, I'm going to be, uh, recording a whole bunch of these in a row today, I hope. Um... Because I have quite a stock now of videos, but they're all in the same, like, two series. So, they're, uh, it would just be updating, if just posting them. And, uh, I don't know. That just doesn't sit well with me. So, we're going to try to get some other stuff here to go along with those. This feels definitely a lot better to drive. It feels like the cars with better grip are what you want to go for. If this game interests you, uh, <laughs> I will probably not be playing this after I stop recording. <laughs> uh, mostly because the pixels are starting to hurt my eyes. Like, it's cutting the flesh of my eyeballs. With how jagged they are. <laughs> um... Oh, come on. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of racing games for the Game Boy Advance. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's probably uh, some better games than this available. <laughs> I haven't played them all. And I know Ants Racing is definitely worse. Because um, at least in this one you're not Anytime you hit someone, you don't go bouncing and lose, like, four seconds of time. Um, oh, thanks for the boost, buddy. Um, yeah, there's a lot. The Game Boy Advance, from what I've seen from looking for gems to download, it's mostly racing games, uh tie-in, like, movie tie-in platformers or mini-games. And then, of course, there's a huge level of uh, RPGs available. Which is kind of cool, but kind of hard to do a video for. Well, if I'd been concentrating a little bit more there at the end, I probably would have got third. But still, I don't know, maybe with some practice, maybe I'd get to like this game. But, uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, so this has been Cruisin' Velocity. Let's see if there's a demo right quick. I doubt it, but... The music's kind of promising, actually. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no music in the tra in, like, the races. Okay, well... This has been another episode of Hunt for Gems. Uh, I'm going to have to sadly give this a no. And uh, I've been POD7, and I'm signing out. Bye.